Uh, okay guys, so I've seen this case today and I thought I would share it with you. This is a patient on pressure control mode of ventilation. We're setting the pressure to 15 centimeter of water above the peep level of 8. And notice that there is a hump here and that's what I'm trying to explain today. So this is pressure over time. You can see the breath here is initiated by the patient. So once the ventilator is triggered, the pressure goes up to 15 centimeter above the PEEP level. With this, you can see a flow up to 100 liters per minute and then decelerates. So this hump that I'm interested in, you can also see it on the pressure volume loop, you can see the pressure goes up to around 28 before it goes down to around 23. Of course, 23, that is the PEEP level of 8, and this would be the pressure control of 15 centimeter of water. So why do we have this hump here? So that is actually overshooting of the ventilator because we're setting the rise time very short. So take a look on the rise time here. On this ventilator is called the P ramp and that means that it takes 25 milliseconds to go from a peep level of 8 centimeter of water to the control of 15 centimeter or the pressure control level of 15 centimeter of water above the peep. So by doing, the, by doing this, it's too short of a time for the pressure to go up. So it ends up overshooting. In order to correct this, let's just do it slower. And you can see what I did here. I changed the ramp from 25 milliseconds to 150 milliseconds. And let's take a look on the graph right now. So notice that I'm going up slower on the pressure. Instead of shooting up like this, now it is taking me 150 milliseconds to go up to a pressure of 15 centimeter of water above the peep level. So notice that the flow is lower right now. It is at around 80 liters per minute. And notice how we eliminated this hump. So the pressure is going up smoothly. The flow waveform is becoming like a sine wave rather than like decelerating flow waveform. This is easier on the patient. Patient is able to tolerate this flow in a better way compared to the previous one when it was overshooting. Take a look on the initial one here again. The pressure to go from this level to this level, it takes only 25 milliseconds and you can see how the pressure is overshooting. This way, the pressure is going up slower and then there is no overshoot here. Better tolerated, easier to uh, push the air in with the inspiratory flow and the patient will feel much more comfortable this way. Thank you very much. If you have any comment, please put it in the comment section.